Barbie, I can be a zoo vet. One beautiful sunny day, Isabella and Anna were playing at Anna's garden. The two little girls were best friends, and they loved playing with their Barbie dolls together. Let's make up a story about Barbie and her friends at the zoo, smiled Anna. Good idea, cried Isabella. Barbie can be a vet. She's going to help in taking care of all the animals at the zoo, said Anna. Barbie and her friends, Teresa and Nikki, were in a hurry. It was the first day of summer and they couldn't wait to start with their new job, helping the vet to look after those baby animals at the zoo. We've got the sweetest volunteer job ever, Barbie smiled as she cuddled her arms with Nikki and Teresa. She always loved trying new things with her friends. When they reached the zoo gates, the vet was waiting for them. Thank goodness you're here, she said. There are so many animals to look after. We really need your help. What can we do? asked Barbie. The vet handed each girl a vet uniform and a zoo pass. Put this on first, she said, so you'll be dressed in zoo uniform for the job. Barbie, Nikki, and Teresa dashed into the staff changing rooms and put on their zoo uniforms. We're ready, smiled Barbie as they stepped back outside. Perfect! He smiled the vet. Let's get it started. They set off the path and passed at the zoo's ticket office and a crowd of visitors rushed in. The vet told them about the baby animals and birds they'd be looking after. It's your job to make sure that everything they need, their food and water, should be refilled regularly. Remember, it's a long list of work to do. No problem, said Barbie. We can do that, nodded Teresa. The vet showed them around the food store and pointed out what they would need for each animal. You can use the trailer bikes outside to go around the zoo, she said. There's lots of room in the trailers for all the food. As the three girls carried food out to the trailer bikes, Barbie asked the vet more about her job. A vet takes care of the animals and the birds when they get sick. It is important to keep them healthy and happy, the vet explained. Here's a list of all the baby animals you need to feed. Do you think you can do it? Sure we can, Barbie said confidently. Great, smiled the vet. There's so much things to do, so you have to work fast. Barbie, Nikki, and Teresa said goodbye to the vet and jumped on their trailer bikes. Let's go, smiled Barbie. The baby koalas were the first on the list. When the girls arrived, a tiny koala ran up to Barbie and twitched her nose. I think he likes your perfume, Barbie, laughed Teresa. <laughs> Barbie giggled and bent down to stroke the little creature's head. Hello, cutie, she smiled. One by one, the hungry little koalas scampered up to drink their bottles of milk. It didn't take them long to finish every drop. Look at those koalas playing on the swing. Teresa laughed as she tidied up the empty bottles. Barbie and Nikki went over to the swing and gently pushed the playful little koalas. This is fun, said Barbie. Let's stay here and play for a while. After they'd finished playing with the koalas, the girls headed to the safari enclosure. Where are all the animals, said Nikki as they hopped off their bikes. Barbie pointed to those tracks on the ground. It looks like they went this way, she said. The three friends followed the tracks down a grassy slope and found the baby animals gathered around a water hole. Just as they finished feeding them, a group of visitors drove up in a tour track. Would you pose for some pictures, asked a lady. It would be wonderful to take some photos of three vets at work. Sure, smiled Barbie. The girls loved posing with the cute little animals. It's fun being a zoo vet, giggled Barbie. Then they finally set off to see the dolphins. The dolphins clapped their fins when they saw the girls. I think they want us to throw the fish to them, Barbie laughed. The dolphins jumped and twirled as they caught all the fish.
Now that's what we call fast food, giggled Barbie when the bucket was empty. I guess we should be going now. We need to feed the elephants next. But as they turned to live, Barbie noticed a ball at the edge of the pool. She picked it up and threw it to a little dolphin. He balanced it on the end of his nose and bounced it right back. Soon, all the dolphins were joining in, bouncing the ball to the girls. Let's stick around and play a little longer, smiled Teresa. Barbie, Teresa, and Nikki spent longer time playing with the dolphins before they rode to their bikes and headed towards the elephants. Would you like a nice drink? Nikki said, holding out a bucket to the tiniest elephant. The baby elephant dipped in his trunk and sucked up some water. Oh, said Nikki, he's really thirsty. The elephant took his little trunk out of the bucket and pointed it at Nikki. Do you want some more? she asked. Suddenly, the elephant shot a jet of water out of his trunk. Oh my goodness. It sparkled through the air and splashed all over Nikki. Barbie and Teresa burst out laughing. <laughs> and a moment later, Nikki joined in. I think he wanted to share his water with me, giggled Nikki. She looked at the naughty elephant. Thank you for the drink, she laughed. The three girls were giggling so much they didn't notice the baby elephant dipping his trunk back into the bucket. <laughs> Stop. Stop <it. laughs> Nikki shook her wet hair and wiped her dripping face. I wish I had a camera, Barbie giggled. I wish I had a hair dryer, laughed Nikki. Suddenly, the baby elephant pointed his trunk at Barbie and Teresa. Watch out, guys, yelled Nikki. Barbie and Teresa started to run, but it was too late. The naughty little elephant let out a fountain of water and it splashed all over them. Barbie, Teresa, and Nikki looked at each other in astonishment. Now they were all drenched from head to toe. That's a pretty unusual way to take a shower, giggled Barbie, and they all burst out laughing. The three girls sat down the rocks to dry themselves under the sun. Suddenly, Barbie jumped to her feet. She put her hand in her pocket and pulled out the list the vet had given her. Oh no, she cried. We forgot about the list. We still have lots of baby animals to feed. We shouldn't have spent so much time playing and posing for pictures. They looked at each other in horror. They had so much fun, they'd almost forgotten they still had a job to do. Come on, everyone, cried Barbie. Back to the trailer bikes. They sped along the bumpy track to feed hamsters and guinea pigs. Teresa and Nikki quickly leapt off their bikes with some food. Go, Tim, cheered Barbie. The girls fed the little animals and jumped back on their bikes. Let's go, cried Barbie, and off they went down the track. When they reached the kangaroo enclosure, Barbie raced over to feed them. Where's next? asked Teresa. Toucans, parrots, and penguins, said Barbie. Let's hit the road. When the girls arrived on their bikes, the hungry birds flew down from the trees. Look, gasped Barbie, they're eating out of my hands. After they'd fed the other birds, the girls arrived at the zoo's ice dome to feed the penguins. Brrr, it's chilly in here, said Barbie as they stepped onto the slippery ice. We should have brought our ice skates, giggled Nikki. Suddenly, Teresa lost her balance and slid over with a bump. Barbie and Nikki put down their buckets and helped her up. I've got an idea, said Barbie. Let's hold hands to help each other balance. In a few moments, the three girls were moving steadily over the ice. They made their way to the penguins and gave them their fish. I wish we could stay and watch, sighed Nikki. Me too, said Barbie but we still haven't finished the list. The baby pandas are next, said Barbie. I hope it's warmer where they live. 
the girls got back on their bikes and followed the signs for the pandas. But when they arrived with the milk, the shy little pandas hid in the bamboo. It's okay, little pandas, whispered Barbie. We've got some milk for you. The girls held out the bottles and the tiny pandas peeped out at them. There's no need to be shy, whispered Teresa. The fluffy little creatures crept towards them and began drinking their bottles. When they'd finished all their milk, the pandas began to yawn. I think it's time for their nap, smiled Nikki. Sweet dreams, pandas, whispered Barbie as they tiptoed back to their bikes. When they rode up to the wild bird lake, the three girls gasped in delight. All the birds were so colorful. Look at the pink flamingos, smiled Nikki. A group of birds began flopping their wings down by the water. I wonder what's happening over there, said Barbie. Teresa and Nikki followed Barbie as she made her way over the flopping birds. Look, cried Barbie, they're watching an egg hatch. Just at that moment, the egg on the ground wobbled and two little feet popped out. The girl smiled as a tiny flamingo chick topped out of the shell and chirped at his mom. Isn't he sweet, sighed Nikki. Let's leave him with his mom while we feed the other birds, said Barbie. When they'd finished scattering the last few handfuls of food, Barbie pulled the list out of her pocket. Let's see what's next, she said as Teresa and Nikki leaned on to look. There's nothing else left, Nikki laughed. Look, we've finished the list. We've fed all the animals in the zoo, cried Barbie. Nice teamwork, guys. Suddenly, Barbie spotted the vet walking over to meet them. When they told her they'd finished the list, she was very impressed. We spent so much time playing with the animals at first, Barbie explained. Then we stuck to the list and worked our way through. You've done a great job, smiled the vet. Well done, girls. All the animals are happy and it's all because of your great work. Thanks to all of you. You girls can be great vet. Isabella and Anna finished playing and went over to see Anna's baby bunnies. Let's be vets just like Barbie, said Anna. I'll fill up the bunnies' water bottle, said Isabella. And I'll feed them some crunchy carrots, smiled Anna. Hi! If you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.